Welcome back to Mystic's Monday Movie Reviews. Now, this series was originally made for when we'd go to the movie theater on the weekend. And then the next day, I would make a video on the movie that we saw and my thoughts without trying to spoil it too much. I decided why not bring it back because... I can't even remember the last time we went to the movies because, let's just say, COVID pretty much ruined our desire to go out. So, any movies that come on streaming services will now be included so that this series can live on. Yesterday was the release for Father's Day, Ultraman Rising, on Netflix. Now, I'm not going to spoil it, because I know there's probably a lot of people who are anticipating watching it, just haven't gotten a chance. I'm going to tell you, in my personal opinion, after watching it last night before I went to bed, and I stayed up later than I normally do, because I don't work today, uh, I'm definitely giving this a solid 8 out of 10. And I've seen on Google that Rotten Tomatoes has given it a very high score as well. Didn't see exactly what it was, but you know it's good if Rotten Tomatoes is. But even the critics, I, I, I never trust them because a lot of them hated Emoji Movie and I like that. So I'm just weird. It's all now, <clears throat> personal opinion about this, and it has nothing to do with the movie itself, but at the same time it does. I just want you all to know, Mark Anthony Austin was one of the animators for this movie. And... If anyone else out there is like me, who when something negative happens to one of their friends, because he is one of my friends, you get angry for that person. That's just how I am. Uh, Netflix let him go, which was a big mistake in my opinion and it makes me angry for him in fact i would like to be slap netflix upside the head for doing that but i mean we never said walmart was smart in some of the decisions they make so we can just say netflix isn't very smart for letting go of one of the best animators that i've ever seen content from so any Companies out there looking to hire an animator, you better snatch him up, because he's, like, in my book, he's a legend, and anyone that lets him go is missing out big time. So, somebody needs to give him a permanent job out there for animation, because it's a tough world, I know it. I would never be able to animate myself, but I know if I owned a company, oh, he'd be number one on the spot. He'd be number one pick, hands down. Um, so, yeah. Kind of still upset for him on that one, but like I said, anybody out there needs an animator, take him. If you can, <laughs> go for it. Because nobody's artistic talent should ever go to waste. As far as the movie goes, if you haven't watched it yet, yes, please do. As well as other things that he's animated for on Netflix. And I know I've said this before in other videos. Back to the Outback, Leo... 
some Disney movies. Bolt, one of a lot of our favorites from back in the 90s. Casper, just, oh yeah, and then Dinosaur. Can't forget Dinosaur, that's one of my favorites. I mean, I love dinosaurs, so <laughs> it is what it is, but that's just naming only a few of the movies that he's animated stuff for. He deserves a lot more, just saying. But definitely see Ultraman Rising if you haven't yet. Make it on your top priority list to watch with your kids. Or even if you don't have any and you're an adult like me who watches animated movies regardless. Who's still a kid at heart. And if you love kaiju, there you go. I mean, I never really... Like, I love the new... Um... I know, love the new Gods. I love all the Godzilla movies. Like, I've only seen the original original, but I've not seen, like, all the other old ones. Eventually, it's on my list to eventually see all of them. But, like, the newer ones, I love them. And my daughter plays... Well, I don't know if she plays it anymore, but she used to play Kaiju Universe or whatever it was on uh, Roblox, so... She's just really not into movies right now, or she probably would have watched it, but... Because I think she would have enjoyed it. So, yeah. If you've seen it, let me know what you think in the comments. If you liked it or not, please don't spoil it for anyone, because I'm trying not to. Too much. But it is definitely a good Father's Day watch. Even if you're late celebrating, it's okay. Or just any time with the family. So, that's just my personal take. And whenever there's another movie review, I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching.